Welcome back to the channel folks and welcome back. Don't, don't worry, this isn't another GX video. I'm sure you're all sick of seeing GXs on my channel at the moment. Even though this is my own one, this is my M GX. <laughs> I am not here to talk to you about the GX today for a change. I'm here to talk to you about this, which is my Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, dash cam, tire monitoring, front and rear camera screen which I fit to my GX. This is an Asoshi uh, screen. This costs £130 and I've been so impressed with this. I get a lot of requests from different companies, probably two a week from different companies asking me to test and review gear and uh, only a very select few of them make it onto my channel and this is one of them. So uh, if you're interested in getting a you know a universal Apple CarPlay, Android Auto uh, screen onto your motorcycle, fully touch screen, everything like that, then uh, this is the video for you. Settle down, make yourself a cup of tea and chopsy roll the intro. Bit of, uh, what do you want to say? Bit of uh, camera action, bit of rear camera action. Hello, rear camera action. Yeah, this is, uh, I've been pretty impressed with this little screen. Now, let me turn it off. Unfortunately, I fitted this, well, fortunately and unfortunately, I fitted this unit. We'll talk a little bit about what you have to do to fit this uh, in this video, but I fitted this unit along with the Heeltech uh, Thunderbox. So basically what the Thunderbox is for, is for all different accessories to plug them into your bike. So um, you don't have to worry about flattening the battery. So that sort of controls all your accessories through the bike. Now I have that fitted under the seat. Like I say, we will go into all the install stuff in a minute. But um, because the Thunderbox monitors your battery voltage, which is here on the GX 2.1, when it goes below a certain voltage, it will shut down all your accessories, which is what it's just done. So unfortunately at the moment, because I've been in this bike for a little while, the battery's not that strong. And another thing with the GX, when it's in, when you've got the, when you've got the bike just to the ignition on, ignition on, but with the kill switch off, you still get the headlight on on the GX, which also draws extra power. So on this particular bike, it's a little bit annoying that you don't just have the running lights on, you get the headlight on as well, which means the battery runs a little bit lower when you've got it sat like this, which means the Thunderbox turns off all my accessories which is a bit of a pain. All right, so let's turn her on. Bike comes on, and then of course, the screen comes on. It's very, I've just had a beep in my, for my intercom to tell me my phone's charging as well, as I've turned it on. And then the screen comes on. Um, installation of this is pretty easy. It's just a positive and innate, it's gone off again because the battery voltage, bloody pain that. But the, uh, the installation's easy, just a positive and a negative. We'll go into a little bit more installation, but positive and negative can the battery or through the Thunderbox. And then an ignition live wire. So I've wired this into the rear number plate light. So the rear number plate light is connected to the Thunderbox. And then, uh, then the Thunderbox turns this on when it realises the ignition's on. So with the unit, this is the version 6. Okay, so this is the version 6 of the... Uh, associate screen. So there's different versions. There's the version 5, which is a slightly different sort of screen size. Um, this is sort of the long and thin one, which fits quite nicely on the GX there. There's more of a square uh, ones as well. But this one also comes with the remote control. So you've got the remote control also mounted on the handlebars here. The reason I've got this is, like I say, I get a lot of requests from different companies saying, you know, do you want to, do you want to feature this product? Do you want to feature that product? product? But normally I'm like, no, I'm not interested. The reason I've gone for this one is because I saw this before I even contacted it. So she, Wombles bought one for his 701. So he's got one on his 701 for the rear view camera mode. He was followed by the police down Selsey Road and didn't really, because he's got no mirrors on his bike, is he? And uh, he didn't really he had the police behind him. So he bought one of these to act as a rear view camera instead of using mirrors so it's pretty cool you've got cameras front and back so if i press this button here 
it will go to the camera view and that's the rear of the bike and it automatically starts recording you can put an SD card in it which I've done and it automatically records so this also acts as a dash cam front and rear camera dash cam if I press this button it will switch between the different views you can have the front and rear cameras on the screen at the same time or, or the other way around or just the front or just the rear so I mean it's um, and the quality is really good and that's been recorded all the time so it also acts as a bit of a bit of a dash cam as well and it has sound as well so that's a great feature I've never been a dash cam sort of guy because I've always thought you know you're potentially incriminating yourself from for naughty behavior as well but if it, you don't have to have it you don't have to have it recording if you don't have an SD card in but I thought why not let's go for it I'm trying to think where, where the hell am I so that's the camera functionality really good you can have it recording you can have it not recording it's entirely up to you but it's quite a nice little way of also just sort of seeing rather than you know using your mirrors but having an extra little camera right behind you so that's a really nice little feature thank you madam and of course you press that one middle one it will take you back to the uh, android auto and i've actually got a route programmed here we go we get stuff popping up so you get all your normal android auto pop-ups so you're getting all your pop-ups you know with your text messages I've also got my phone connected to my intercom, Mercado, so I can do control my music through here as well. And you can see this would be your music here, but unfortunately I haven't got any signal, so it's on Spotify, so it's, it's, it's not playing because I've got no signal to download the track. But you'd normally have your track here and your picture of your album cover or whatever, you know, so it's got all of the full Android Auto functionality. And also, you know, you can go back and see all of your phone and your WhatsApp messages. So it's basically like having your phone on you. The only bike I can think of, I was thinking about this, is, is the Africa Twin. It's the only bike I can think of which has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay but from the factory. I can't think of any others. And when I've borrowed the Africa Twin, I've really, really liked having that Android Auto functionality. Because I've said it many times, you know, Google Maps, in my opinion, is the best navigation system out there, you know, and you can have all the traffic on this as well, so you've got your, it's a full functionality. So rather than having your phone up here, potentially at risk, you know, you, and, and having to take it off when you stop the bike and all that sort of business, you've got a dedicated screen for your Android Auto. And I think for 130 pounds with my discount, I have got a discount for this. I've got an affiliate link, you know, this, they did send me this, to be completely transparent they have sent me this unit you know to test and do a video on and I have got an affiliate link but you know I won't recommend anything which is rubbish you know that that's the thing and I only got this because I knew Womble had it he recommended it I think Richie Veed has got got one of these as well so you know I knew it was decent and you've also got on here um, tire pressures as well so if I go home and then into panel. Panel, come along. Then it also shows you what the tyre pressure is doing. 34, I think it under reads a tiny bit because I'm sure they're not by a couple of PSI because I'm sure they're a bit better than that. But 34 at the front, 40 at the rear, and it also tells you the inside temperature of your tyres. If you're doing a track day, it can tell you how hot your tyres are getting, air temperature. So, so, that, so that could be useful to some people so to install the unit it's pretty simple three wires basically so a positive and negative to your battery or to my thunderbox in my case and then an ignition live which you, I, I took from the uh, number plate light so just tap into the number plate light you get the two cameras little tip when you look at the cameras only one of that you, you have to use the front and rear camera they're in the correct place because I think if you use the front camera at the rear I think everything will be reversed so when you go to your camera view if you get the cameras mixed up when you get to the camera if you use the front camera on the rear then it will be reversed so you'll see so people look like they're on the right of you and on the left of you so completely uh, dangerous but the way to do it is just to check the length of the cable so the long the camera with the longer cable attachment is obviously for the rear the one with the shorter cable is the one for the front so that's a little tip on uh, on installation the instructions you know it, it's a chinese unit and the instructions aren't great you know typical <laughs> sort of chinese uh, they're not brilliant instructions but it's, it's simple you know what i mean you connect the cameras 
you can't get it wrong once you get the front and rear one right and then uh, you, you you know you just connect your phone and go through the Bluetooth options on the screen only sort of complex thing is picking up the ignition live on your bike so uh, yeah number plate is a perfect example number plate light perfect example of something to tap into apart from that very very straightforward installation it's a case of positioning your cameras the cameras come with like a sticky mount so you can either stick them on or you can screw them on i've just stuck them on on this with like the 3m tape like the, the same sort of tape you get to mount your gopros and so far everything stayed where it is nothing's moved so but i may end up having to screw them on we'll see how the sticky sticky holds up basically so installation wise what i've done with my bike is because you know when you're running android auto for your phone if you've ever done it you know via bluetooth it actually flattens your battery quite a lot so i've actually got my phone under the back of the bike in a little sleeve to protect it and there's a, a usb accessory which is fed from the uh, the thunder box let me just get my uh, cargo net out so the thunder box is installed in here just there look and then you plug in your accessories here it's easy just to plug in different accessories so i've got their usb charger and of course the uh, associate screen as well so that's all my gubbins under there and like i say i keep my phone in this little pouch with usb charger so your phone is being charged while the device is running and of course it's connected to the it's connected to the actual screen via Bluetooth again, and that seems to work fine, you know, that distance on the tail, no, no, no problems with that. So that's how I've got it installed. That's where I've got my phone located. Pretty good setup, really, I think. Put them the rat, and I'll just sort of tuck that in like that. And then when the seat goes on, everything's nicely secure under the back of the bike. What is amazing with this unit, you know, you get all that functionality, all of that good stuff built into it, and it, I think it's about £150, but as I mentioned, I've got an affiliate link, and you get 22% off with my affiliate link. So, I think it's about 130 quid with my affiliate link, so you know, 130 quid for Android Auto integration, and all those features, it's a no-brainer, isn't it? For me anyway, I do get a little bit of a kickback if you were to buy one, so again, being completely uh, transparent, I do get a little bit of a kickback, but, you know, as I said, I don't very often, often feature products like this. It's got to be something I truly believe in to do it, you know, I wouldn't just be having any old tat <laughs> with an affiliate link. You know, and those who sort of follow the channel, hopefully you sort of realise that, you know. And I would never have done this unless I'd know Wombles had one, Richie Vida's had one, and I've contacted those guys and said, what's it really like? And they've both been really, really impressed with it. So we thought I'd give it a whirl. So uh, yeah, 130 quid, a bit of Android Auto action. We just go in and uh, show, show you what else we can see in here. So if we go to this play button here, look, this will then we'll look at the files which we've recorded so you've got all the files which have been recorded uh, even worse with gloves on it's not quite as responsive with gloves on but it's, it's not too bad there we go as you can hear it's got sound as well tire pressures you've also got gps on here as well because settings scroll down a bit gps information it'll give you your full gps location could be useful if you break down or something like that i guess uh, and then we've got all sorts of other other info in here pairing pairing the system what i like it, it actually works it's quite responsive and fast you know it's not laggy it, it's uh, it works really well there's my spotify bit of brew time if I had signal. Oh, we've got Mark from Leeds on brew time. But I've got Bruce in my ear now. I've got Bruce in my ear. It's always distracting while you're riding. Of course, call. You can make a phone call if you wish. And I think you can get to your main sort of... Uh... Yeah, there you go. You can actually get to like your phone interface here. So I could go to WhatsApp. So if someone texts you, you can stop. You know, and then go into your WhatsApp and 
<laughs> look at your messages. They're new messages since I've been riding. Look, there they are. Play aloud. Can I play it? Yeah. It's playing the, the WhatsApp message in, in my ear through through the intercom. That's cool, isn't it? It's it's impressive. I have to say, it is impressive. Look at all this here. And how do I go full screen on the maps? Like that. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> it's good about here. I've actually programmed Gatwick <laughs> on me Android Auto. So it's quite good. I mean, I, I, I wasn't sure whether the intercom would work, you know, when this is connected to your phone, but it does. It's, it's, your intercom works as it would, so, you know, I'm, I'm getting all the directions through the intercom as I normally would do, as if I was running that directly on my phone. Same with the music and everything. The beauty of it is, normally I'd have my phone in my pocket and I'd be listening to music. And of course, if you come to a track you don't like, you're stuck with it. But on this, I can, you know, go next track and stuff, which is quite quite handy, isn't it? So there's a way. Of, it does mean looking down and touching the screen, so you, which I wouldn't recommend. But yeah, I, I thought it was a nice little integrated unit. So, uh, and if you do fancy one, affiliate link in the description. I think it's LCR22 for 22% off. I will keep you posted of how I get on with this unit, you know, if I get any problems with it and all of that. But, you know, so far, it's been perfect. I've not done masses of miles with it. I've only been out once before and, and played with it. So it is quite new to me. So let me just give that sort of caveat. But because I know Richie's had one for a while now, Womble's had one for a little while, you know, I, I sort of got a bit of trust and confidence in it. So there we are. If you are interested in... Apple CarPlay screen or Android Auto. You know, like I say, Apple CarPlay works just as well. Richie uses this with Apple CarPlay, and I think Wombo does as well. So I know that all works fine. So it's not just like Android Auto works well. I know, I know they both work well. So if you're interested in the screen, let's say affiliate link below. And I hope this is of interest. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.